We had a rather unusual arrival at the zoo last week, uh, which was a bit of a surprise. Uh, we had a lady called Mrs. Willis get in touch with us from Durham, who had found something very, very strange in one of the plants that she bought from Tesco's. It was not what she expected. So I'm just trying to find him because they do burrow down into the substrate. So we have to do this every day. Just try and find the little guy. There he is, I can see him. So this is a rhinoceros beetle, a European rhinoceros beetle. Uh, you can see his little horn on his nose there, that's what gives him his name, and only the males have them. Um, and what will happen is they'll grow as larvae underneath the ground, in the soil, or in a rotten log or something, um, and then they'll emerge, sort of March, April time, and basically the males, the adults, they don't feed at all, they're just looking for mates to breed with, males to fight with, to earn females, and then they live a few months, probably by the autumn, he'll no longer be with us, that's his life cycle complete. So he's, he's a little bit sleepy because they would actually not normally come out until sort of springtime, March at the earliest, so these guys are quite commonly found all across mainland Europe but actually aren't found in the British Isles. So it's very rare and unique to have an opportunity to see a guy like this in the UK. So this little stag beetle is called George and uh, the lady that donated him called Mrs. Willis, she is the one that named him George because that was her favorite beetle, uh, as in the music band. And although it is really nice and interesting to see animals like George, the European rhinoceros beetle, turning up in your potted plants in the UK, it's not actually that great news. The worrying thing is, is obviously that's how easy it is to introduce a potentially invasive species. We don't think the rhinoceros beetle is an invasive species, but it's the fact that an animal this big has managed to sneak in with a potted plant available at your local supermarket. Then you put it in your garden, next thing you know, you've got a non-native species running around your garden. Now, there is an actual campaign called the Pot Watch campaign, and that's ran by Bug Life UK, and they do actually want people to really think about where you're buying your plants from, where their origin is, and definitely check the roots out when you're actually planting your plants because there are a few species of flatworms that are actually invasive. So it's great that Mrs. Willis from Durham noticed that little George was in her potted plant and obviously now he's safely contained. He's gonna live out his days here at the zoo. If you'd like any more information about the Pot Watch campaign, then have a little look in our description for a link. So George is gonna be living his days out at the zoo off show. Um, we don't have an on-show enclosure for him, but if you wanna come and see him, then do come on down and ask one of our keepers and they'll bring his tank out so you can have a little peek. Um, but yeah, we're basically just gonna kind of leave him alone and uh, let him see out his days.